Well, there's a company that helps make Western New York a pretty sweet place to be. News for us, Marley Tuskus and photojournalist Allison Stabell are giving us the scoop tonight and taking us behind the scenes of Perry's ice cream. There's a certain way Perry's has been making their ice cream all these years. We want to make it, you know, one batch at a time, and we want to make sure we put in enough of the good stuff. That was H. Morton Perry's motto from the day he started making the sweet treat. But Perry's business did not start out as ice cream. My great grandfather back in 1918 was looking to start his own business and found an Akron milk route uh, for sale that a local farmer was selling. So he thought it'd be interesting to come back to Akron from Lockport where he was and rejoin his family and start a business of delivering milk around Akron. So the first day in business, he delivered 29 gallons of milk. More than a century later, 29 gallons of milk has turned into 11 million gallons of ice cream a year. Brian Perry says his great-grandfather started making the ice cream we know and love today as a favor to his sister-in-law. He had a simple request from his, his wife's uh, sister saying, hey, could you make some ice cream for the Akron Central School? We'd love to serve it to the kids. Using a family recipe, Perry made the first batch in his kitchen. From there, the business has grown to what it is today with more than 75 flavors to choose from. Inspiration for the flavors comes from a variety of places. Um, we're always watching trends in ice cream, of course, but also related categories like snacks and desserts. While the company has its classics, each year they introduce new flavors. This year, dark chocolate pretzel, bananagram, and s'mores adventure all hit store shelves. It's a fun challenge that we, we take on. You know, Perry's is known for our, our variety of flavors, so we always have our classics like vanilla and panda paws. Um, but every year we like to refresh the offerings and, and bring something new and exciting to the category. What's your favorite? It's like asking to pick a favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> so how do your favorite flavors make it to the store shelves? The process of making 50,000 gallons a day starts with adding fresh milk from local farms cream and sugars to an ice cream mix before pasteurizing and homogenizing one batch at a time. After the flavor is added, the ice cream goes into the container. Then things take a chilly turn in the blast freeze. And it's very important to quick freeze the product and that's a 35 degree below zero, 80 below wind chill factor room that uh, will freeze the product in six to eight hours to a temperature of about five below zero. Perry says over the course of the company, one constant they've dealt with is change. And after 105 years, it's happening again. This time with an $18 million plant expansion. It includes a roughly 20,000 square foot addition to the factory, which will focus on upscale ice cream bars. The company expects to have their product in stores this winter. So as we speak, the steel structure is going up today. In the meantime, Western New York's number one ice cream brand continues to work on its dozens of flavors and many products. Always done, one batch at a time. You have to have a, a quality product, no matter who you are. You know, people always try it, but if it isn't good, you know, people aren't going to come back. Reporting in Akron. Pick Perry's. Perry's ice cream. Pick Perry's. Perry's ice cream. Marley Tuskus, News 4. Yummy, it's very good. And if you have any ideas for Allison and Marley should go behind the scenes next, please send an email to newsroom at wivb.com.